Hello, hello and welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have forklifts, tanks and Falcon 9. Just a reminder, there's a beautiful community of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic players out there go and check out there's amazing amount of mods beautiful maps there's much more than i'm showing you here this is that's just something that caught my eye and i decided to make a video about it Wroclaw, Wroclaw building pack early mid 20th century uh this is made by utland uh, pack contains three buildings two pre-world war one uh, one on the 50s in the city of Wroclaw thanks to the rob 074 for textures you should go and check out his stuff out and there's a link of course we know who robs is right so uh what do we what do we have here i don't know there's could be an issue with these for some reason they're showing for me like this we're gonna check them out two buildings are like this and one of them is working perfectly fine this is a beautiful beautiful set of three buildings i'm gonna go and um uh, we're gonna Gonna demonstrate the textures it's absolutely beautiful well obviously rob's had his fingers in this and it's a definitely definitely really nice mod now two buildings for some reason they're showing like this i have no idea why um they look like they're underground buildings this might be when you're placing them when the entrance to the building is on the top of the building but let's try to build them a few more times right so these are the buildings that we have we have uh Novov Vieska. Novovieska, we have uh, 50, 51, and Novovieska 35. So 35, the one that we built, that has no issues. I can see here, okay, that could have been something on my part. I did restart the game a few times, and we can see the old beauty of these buildings. Wow, they even have textures on the side with the uh, naked brick. I uh, just disregard these two buildings. Whoa, this is really nice. I knew I'm gonna like this. I knew I'm gonna like this. The only problem with these, it's only 70, 65% and 65% quality of apartments. They're really, really beautiful, but um, this quality of apartments is something controversial in the game because it doesn't really motivate you to build any of these lower quality buildings because they are usually more expensive than the uh, vanilla buildings and um, or the buildings that are higher quality. Right, so uh, what, how, how much do they cost? They cost uh, 8,000 rubles or 9,000 rubles, 12 and a half and 11,000 rubles. So they're pretty pricey. I can tell you straight away that they are more expensive than equivalent, vanilla equivalent of these apartments. I can say that this one here, for example, has 62 people and the building footprint is a little bit smaller than these buildings. So does this affect the number of people living here? So if it's 32 people, let's divide that by two. That would be 30 apartments in this building there's five floors so that means six apartments per floor usually we would separate building in two parts so that would be three apartments on this side and three apartments on this side technically it's plausible um they would be pretty small but uh, and and also that would um, reflect the quality of apartment 65 percent. so i would say that this is quite um, well it, it is quite reasonable amount of the apartments and quality of um, uh, what we get here with this building these bigger ones we're just gonna say that they are a little bit bigger and they look a little bit more lavish for example this one has balconies on the outside and this lodge lodges i think they're called uh, they look nice so a little bit higher quality of apartments and this one is again 65 it doesn't have any it's kind of rackety old building but um, still looks quite nice i think i think i really really like this mod anyway so this is a, a little bit more pricier we can just check real quickly mm, this is 62 people vanilla ones uh, with the same amount of people would be 75 here we have uh, 8500 and then we have 73 8300 they're more or less all of them are more expensive this one is a little bit pricier uh, but that's more exception to the rule. But anyway, uh, realistic price, beautiful buildings, check them out, link in the description of the video. We have Vilax and train station slash passenger platforms. Package of passenger platforms for construction of railway stations is made based on the motives uh, and on basis of structural elements and design of the station district of uh, Duren. 
Ledensdorf uh, BF Germany. The main feature is presence of underground and above ground slot hubs connections for pedestrian crossing that can be connected to each other. Thus it's possible to create a large railway hub as a single complex, while at the same time by um, alternating separate platforms it's possible to assign selected routes for arrival on Trasington trains. I'm gonna leave this for you to explore, I'm just gonna go and show you what this is. This is enormous amounts of more, like not enormous, it's like 20 different buildings and then structures that you can construct here you're gonna see we have the underground structures as well we have overground structures also uh, new ones we're gonna show them as well but let's start with this we're gonna go and check out which mods we actually have here so i can see here that we have um 16 mods in total i would say 16 mods we have we have these stations that will be with one um one train that will be those with number one on the corner so these are train stations with one side um only one bay loading bay in, in on one side and we have platform here of course they have as you can see here these uh, elevated uh, pathways which we're going to demonstrate as well they have the elevated pathways in the end uh, the small one doesn't have it and then we have the ones with two we're going to show this first we have two uh, two train tracks on these there's more stations than i built here i just didn't want to build all of them just not to confuse you guys as you can see here there's a smaller one i believe this is similar to that smaller one uh, a bit longer ones and uh this is the, the the biggest one and we have even more anyway uh, this one looks a little bit slimmer uh, than these but anyway you have a lot of a lot of different stations but let's see what else comes with this we have underground passage and we have the uh, transition is the transition is above ground and then we have railway station with two platforms um, and then we have railway station with one platform those are these here this is a station this is like you know pass through station in capital city where i come from you have these uh, so they are quite common this is the same thing it just has passages on both ways i don't know if these guys have like underground passages uh, to get to this station or we have to build overground once you can see connections here we're going to check this out uh, straight away so we have all these connections and uh, directly here we can oh we can't oh this is underground i believe this is underground let's go for f3 and connect it as you can see here we can build underground connections to some of these stations not some of these stations most of these stations so we can uh, connect them with undergrounds and of course as you saw before we can connect them with overground passages as well overground connections well maybe this one doesn't like it but let's see this um, uh, that came with this mod we have the uh, underground passage and then we have overground passage no these guys don't like to be connected well we're gonna have to they don't like to be connected directly but if we build them like this and then build passage will you work will you work it will work for example we can get, build these so you can connect i'm not gonna go and demonstrate what you can do but please go on the link and you can see some of the suggestions that mod maker made uh, regarding these you can absolutely build magnificent stuff with these stations you can combine them you can have several of them next to each other then you can have uh, passengers circulating from station to station you know to better distribute your workers and all that stuff absolutely beautiful and complex mod or model and i urge you to go and check it out now how much does this cost i don't know if this is something that we can try to compare like it's, some of these stations are thirty-four thousand. these uh, complete ones that would be these two in the middle they cost uh, 51 and 52,000 rubles. Um, the, the smaller one are 32 and 34, depending how many um, how many uh, tracks, how long they are. Uh, but uh, you can see the longest one, 69,000 rubles. Now let's try to compare this to vanilla ones. Is this a cheaty building or not? I can straight away tell you that I have no idea. No, definitely not. So 6,000 is a normal small station. Bigger one is 14,000. All of these are over 30,000, so twice the price. But definitely really, really beautiful models uh please go check out the link in the description of the video bill billman 007 residential buildings type k-o-p-e or cope uh, 85 i would like to present to you a pack of prefab panel houses uh, of type Cope 85 residential buildings of series built in Moscow and Moscow region in period of 1982 to 2017 in various modifications uh, the series 
is designed by Mass Pro Project Design Institute. Architects is Arhegnova, yara, yara, yara. There's a whole history of these. Now, there's a lot of, a lot of these buildings. They, they have between 141 and 300 and 415 workers in some of them. We're going to demonstrate some of them. But they are absolutely beautiful for a late game in the 1980s or 1990s, 2000s. Really, really beautiful apartments. Something that I'm going to be using myself. They are a little bit modern for the game because we usually start in 1960s uh, but um, uh, you can definitely use them er earlier if you want as well now these buildings like we said they have various capacities we're going to check the prices on them as you can see um, you can you can make models even uh, really close to each other so they can be like a complex of buildings uh, we're going to go and demonstrate some of them uh, from here so you can see that there's uh, 16 and 4, 20 different mods, 20 different mods of, mods of these buildings, some of them are, uh, all of them, they don't have collisions between each other, so you can uh, put them quite close to each other, you can even um, play around and put them like under in different angles, whatever, you know, th this kind of stuff, you can you can definitely play around with these buildings. Now capacities and prices, you can see there are 50,000 for 172 uh, workers apartments. Now I would like to inspect the, one of these buildings and uh, let's do one of them that is already finished so how realistic is this 215 people how many do we have 237 this one has 226 215 people that means that there should be over 100 apartments here is it possible to have it how many floors do we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 22 apartments, 22 floors, uh, each floor I would say has 4 apartments, that would be 88 I believe, 88 apartments times 2, that would be 160 something, but this definitely has more than 3 balconies, and you can see that there's an apartment here in the middle as well, there's more than 3 balconies, and I believe there, could, there should be like maybe even up to 5 apartments here, if we have 5 apartments per floor, that would be exactly the two, 200, and, and I wouldn't say 213 or 15 workers, but if we had 5 apartments per floor, that would be 200, uh, 110 apartments in this building, 110 apartments apartments times two that would be 220 uh, capacity and it's 215 so it's quite quite realistic i believe there's an apartment building here in the middle so it's kind of offset it's not the exact amount of apartments so it's quite realistic capacity wise price wise we already checked this that they're quite expensive up to a hundred thousand rubles uh, for some of those apartments 171 uh, here oh there's a 515 how did i miss this one it's not on the list. Oh, yeah, it is. Kope K K T S S Z R J S one uh, times three has uh, 515 residents. So you can see that this building over here is the biggest one in, in the set, and it's absolutely humongous. It's a Great Wall of China building, but anyway, uh, pricing is correct, pricing is fair, uh, buildings are beautiful, this is something that you're definitely going to see in my Let's Plays, but if you want to learn more about these models, please go and check the link in the description of the video. Right, we have a star of the show here, um, a star of the show because it's actually quite nice, I like this, this is Falcon, uh, Falcon 9, Falcon 9 rocket is the SpaceX rocket that brings stuff to space. Not yet weapons, but give it a chance. Um, uh, it's, uh, it acts as a helicopter, which uh, I was actually looking for it, but uh, yeah, I was wrong a little bit. Now, let me show you how this, what it actually is. Let's go and read a word or two about this mod first. Now, this mod uh, was built by DES, Falcon X, uh, SpaceX Falcon 9. Um, wanna take us some food to other side of the map fast and don't have uh, don't care how much fuel it is going to take SpaceX Falcon 9 reusable rocket will do the trick includes version with cargo payload or dragon passenger capsule Available in two skins original and Soviet nationals. Really? I didn't check that one out. Sorry about that guys I really need to see I, I really wanted to see the Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't see this uh, Sokol 9, <laughs> Sokol is Falcon in, in uh, well, it's in, in Croatian as well, so, so cool, 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 Roscosmos, uh, no, Soviet Cosmos, what, what is it called here? Uh, what? Why? W what? Okay, there's something with this one, something wrong written here, I'm not really sure. 
Uh, yeah, if you can read what it says here, it's this would be Cosmos, but it looks like it's overlapping. Uh, uh, SpaceX <laughs> with with the uh, spelling E X uh, E K uh, C is X, right? Anyway, it's uh, E K S as the X, right? So how does it fly? Let me show you this. So if you take it and let's say resettle this one over there, let's uh, let's see how it works with the um, Soviet decals. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, uh, right? SpaceX Soviet flag. It works like this. Unfortunately, it's not that spectacular. It looks pretty cool, uh, and I'm pretty sure that uh, it's faster than any helicopter that we have. But more or less, it does this flies from space to uh, from place to place within a map. It's a really really cool mod. I think it's really beautiful. I think it's also a genius way of. Uh, I think Elon Musk is even advertising this that they want to go place to place with these rockets on Earth. But um, anyway, I think it's a really cool model. A big thumbs up for this. Please out. Go out and check out this model. Whoa, 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 whoa. What about the... Uh, I can show you the other one. This is the... Is this a people version? No, this is uh, the other version. Let's go and check out Falcon 9. Um, Soviet ones? So, yeah, let's do the Soviets. Are they the same? And yeah, you can see Space Dragon. The Space Dragon? Or whatever. The Dragon capsule over here on, on top. Uh, as you can see here, it says Soyuz and SpaceX. Right, so this is the, the passenger version one, and how much does it cost? We already bought it, but we didn't check the price. It costs one million, uh, one million dollars to buy. It's quite, quite expensive, but it's cool. It's a cool thing that we probably want to have in the game, you know, late game maybe as, um, you know, uh, achievement on something, building something like this is probably going to be quite difficult. But anyway, link in the description of the video. Costar 4 UK and Heli CPC D70. Uh, the loader of the Chinese company Heli in the game will be for rubles in the game since 2005. Power 84.6, load capacity 7 tons. This is a little bit, this is big. Uh, maximum speed 30 kilometers per hour. Machine weighs 9 tons. Um, yeah, let's talk about this one. Uh, this is an interesting one. Let's go and uh, sell one of those vehicles so we can compare them to the Soviet ones. So size-wise, they are a little bit comparable. It's obviously a little bit smaller machine, the, the Soviet one that we have in the, have in the game. But the Soviet one that we have in the game it says that it's empty. Uh, weight one ton. It could be. It could be. It's a big machinery, but also still smaller than a car. I think it would be a little bit more than one ton in vanilla one. But this one here, that it's nine tons. Oh, that's a little bit on a steep side. And capacity as well compared to this one. This one can carry two tons of steel. This one can carry seven tons of steel. Again, maybe potentially. I wouldn't be surprised. It's it's an interesting thing. I think it's a little bit on the high side, a little bit, not too much. The nine ton weight of these machines. I might be totally wrong, so correct me if I am. And then the capacity of seven tons. I used to drive these back in a day. Um, the the small the the forklifts. I'm not sure. Nine tons seems a little bit. Uh, like, uh, sorry, 7 tons of steel, that it might be a little bit too heavy for this to lift, but again, I might be wrong. But it's not outrageous, like, um, the, compared to the to this one that can carry 1.2, almost 2 tons, oh, 1.8, that is almost 2 tons of steel, and this one having only like 3 times more-ish, 3.5 times more capacity, or maybe you can even say 4 times capacity, it's... Uh, it's not like it carries 20 tons of steel or, or any of other materials. So it would be in a ballpark, I think, um, uh, on the limit. I need to see specifications of these on, in real life. But other than that, I think it's it's a really beautiful mod. I think I'm going to give it a go, even though I'm not the biggest fan of forklifts in this game. Right, so uh, it, it obviously costs in rubles and the price is... It, it, it's five times more. It's five times more, period. So it's um, uh, it's quite expensive. Uh, to buy compared to the normal forklift, but it also gives you this uh, extra oomph that you need uh, for your uh, crops and stuff like that, that you need to transport in huge amounts. But anyway, really interesting model. Uh, price is quite fair about um, the statistics of the vehicle. You have to decide on your own, but link in the description of the video. Ma Maxim Ogorodnik uh, and Mark 5 and FT117. Okay, so this is uh, this is an interesting one. Now, I know it's controlled 
controversial for video games to have something like this, you know, manufacturing and selling weapons. But hey ho, we have it. We has it in the game. So this is this mod adds Mark V heavy tank and Renault F-17 light tank in the game. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, read the descriptions of the tanks. They are just normal tanks. So the Mark V goes six kilometers per hour. The other one goes eight kilometers per hour. They're just light and heavy tanks from the early 20th century or early 1920s. Um, so they're quite interesting designs. So why are they in the game? You can actually use them. You can use them as a vehicles, as cars, but of course you wouldn't be doing something like this. I think it's it's limited also in speed by six kilometers per hour. Now, what would you do with these? Well, actually you can export uh, weapons. You can build a car factory or in this case, um, the uh, autozavod, some, some um, vehicle manufacturing plant and then create tanks and just ask export them they're both for dollars they can be bought for dollars or so, sold for dollars so you can have these uh, i think they would be under personal cars yeah Renault FT 17 uh, or 17 and Mark 5 unknown country I believe that would be United Kingdom but uh, it says unknown country here so we have weapon production in this game which is really cool I actually quite like it um, but I, I don't think there's anything controversial with this and uh, you would be producing weapons for export or something like that so if we go for the personal car and uh, check one more time uh, their price of course if I actually choose the right ones how much do they cost so if we go for personal cars um, normal personal cars you have Volkswagen Beetle is one point uh, one thousand five hundred dollars uh, and these guys are eight thousand and thirty eight or thirty nine thousand respectively so they are quite expensive if you want to build them but they also require a lot of materials to be constructed so it's a fair price they the process of building them is longer so something that if you want to create weapons especially in the early game voila link in the description of the video little known things about your man leaky here is that he is absolutely fluent in chinese not even close i'm running this through google translator sorry uh, google translate uh, this is uh, please Soviet Socialist Republic uh, in the brackets it's a uh infrastructure it's a beautiful country of valleys uh, referendum two major power groups it's rich resources safe geopolitics and the coast northeast gives uh, her advantage of being out to sea but has gone uh, one of the neighboring countries islands prisons the social corners yeah yeah so this is this is actually translation from the uh, this is translation from the chinese by google translate and i'm thinking even me disclaiming this and saying that this is uh, some kind of um, uh, uh, description i think it's uh, it's wrong i think i'm not gonna butcher this too much now this was made by fat house happy every day so <laughs> this is again google translation of the name because the name is in chinese of uh, this respectable gentleman that brought us this beautiful mod uh, you can check it out in the link in the description of the video but anyway uh, what is the map what's the map about now you have decent infrastructure here you can see that you have uh, some bridges highways already built uh, we're gonna go and explore some of them now if you have this decent infrastructure come on man you can build a bridge over this railroad uh, we definitely need a viaduct over here. What else do we have? This leads over the hills. Let's see the geography here. Okay, this is nice. This is something that I don't understand with map makers. Some of them have a little bit uh, hard uh, angles with these roads, but this one actually is not. I wanted to this straight away and say like, nope, look at the angles of these roads, but it's actually quite beautiful. The angles, it's that it's smooth. The road uh, feels quite natural uh, how it goes like this. I think it's really beautiful. I want to really, really wanted to say like, oh, look at these angles of the roads. No, no, no. Angles are actually nice. Maybe angle angles still thinks that he's nice as well. Um, yeah, it's all beautiful. I I like it. Let's turn off the contours, the topography, and then we have the highway over here. Now this can be done better as well. Let's let's criticize just a wee bit. Uh, this can be done a, a little bit better. These intersections are absolute. Uh, like it, it can be better. We can build hill on both sides of the road and then have a nice uh, passage over the road and connect it, you know, in their respectable directions. But uh, other than that, it's absolutely nice, beautiful infrastructure in place. It goes through the center of the country, and you have a lot of border crossings. You can see connections over here as well, and then we have another highway going to the Soviet uh, 
uh, side over here. We require electricity for this railroad infrastructure. Okay, so what what are we gonna transport in this uh, in this beautiful country? Now let's check out the map first. So you can see how the infrastructure stands here. We have the big highway and the railroad infrastructure going to middle, and we have uh, two connections to the east. Uh, one connection to the north, one connection to the west, and one connection to the south. That means that NATO countries, if I'm correct here, NATO countries have two connections compared to Soviet countries only one, or three altogether versus... Actually, there's even more here. Yeah, NATO countries are much better connected than the Soviet ones. Well, technically, there there's two connections here. One of them doesn't have railroads. So we have one, two... And three in the south and then we have here on the other side we have one two three four and five for the NATO countries uh, as it was said we have connection to the sea on the southeast and what the hell is this monstrosity over here whoa prison ah look at this they're trying to build a prison Beautiful island prison. I think we can. Uh, I think this is part of our own infrastructure, so we can populate this prison and send people to this. Uh, the edge of the map looks a little bit wonky, but um, yeah, let's not judge it right now. But this looks a little bit horrible. It could be something on my side. It doesn't have to be on the modern side. But this side here, it's it's a little bit yeah wonky. So we can send our prisoners to NATO countries here, which is pretty good. I don't know how you can use them as a workforce. Then you have to ship them back. Actually, this is more for for uh, shipping workers here to guard the prisons and you can see these little prison towers i had to install this mode in order to, for this map to function okay let's uh, skip the yada 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 and resources yeah. yeah resources are quite plentiful so you're not gonna have any issues with resources you can see oil there's a lot of oil under the sea but um, the more, even more on the ground so you're not gonna have issues with that iron it's in, placed close to your uh, major lines and uh, coal as well because your major lines are everywhere and then we have uh, uranium uranium is also quite plentiful especially in the middle of the map here where you probably would be developing your uranium resourcing uh, so uranium mining and then bauxite you can have it here close to the main arteries so building a city here in the center of the map uh, would be probably the most beneficial to start you are connected on three sides you have major arteries here to all countries you can get resources that you want but i think this is a really beautiful map i like how the roads are designed i like how the infrastructure is placed it actually went a lot of thought went into this and uh, yeah this is my favorite map this mod monday uh right i think this is it i think i want to leave this with you and say thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this one if you did press the like button if you didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section you know how one does like subscribe notification bell ring it comment section hit it and if you want to support the channel you have description of the video thanks for watching guys happy monday and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye